Okay, okay, we're on. Hi, hello. My name is Tammy Neff, and you are on my page called Tammy Loves, and I am here today to show you the video that I meant to show you on Friday. I, I totally forgot the family was in a rush to get out to go to a Maroon 5 concert, and so I was hurry scurrying around picking up all of the stuff I didn't want, packing it up to take. And anyway, so I'm going to show you now how this room turned out. Hello, Carrie. Let me flip the camera around and show you. So we got these little shelves at Lowe's and then we just threw some things on there, an old male um, scale, a little bird's nest, some old books and some candles. And you know how I love that flower arrangement. Love, love it. It's in an old piece of a tree stump that was found out in the woods. So it looks really awesome. Um, and then added some stuff to the top of her mantle and then more shelves from Lowe's they're very cool you guys and they were super easy to hang the only thing is I couldn't figure out how to mount the shelf to the bracket so they're loose they'll slide so we're gonna put a little sticky tack under there to um, keep them from moving too easily but we did tell the the cleaning lady is aware and the homeowners aware so we should be good um, They'll be the only ones, let's see. So I've, I've got my phone vertical. Oh, you know what, I should have turned it so you guys could see. Oh, well, I don't think I can turn mid video. So, okay, there's that wall. Then on the big high wall that we didn't know, you know, we wanted something, but we didn't know what. This is what we did. We put some family pictures. We added a big clock, a pulley with a rusty bucket, put some greenery in it, and then a wicker cone with a fern in it. And that allows her space. She has room for more family pictures. And then also something in this area, if she wants to do a little shelf, she had a little black crown mold shelf that she may add, or just some pictures in that space. All right, and then we have this wall. And in this wall, we added the, the mirror. I just love this mirror. I've had this mirror at the shop and it's been up on top of a cabinet. So you guys really haven't been able to see it very well. Um, so yeah, the treasure hunters need to dig a little deeper when you're at the shop because that's a beauty. <laughs> but anyway, so we have some more family pictures and then this floating shelf I've always loved. It's really cool. And then probably the favorite thing, we added a throw and some pillows here. Probably the favorite thing is this. Now the husband purchased this blanket for his wife for a gift and it was very small. We were so disappointed. I forget where, Etsy probably, right? I, I don't even know. Where she doesn't know where he got it. But anyway, um, so I used it as a um, table runner and they both love it. They had it draped over a chair and it just was so small. It's more like a lap blanket. And so we used it because I love the texture and the chunkiness of it. And so it just fit perfect on this table. And then I found this basket when we were shopping um, at the vintage market, uh, what, about a month ago, I think. And then we just added some candlesticks and candles, the driftwood ball, the old clock part, um, an old wallpapering tool, I think. I'm not really sure what that is. And then that old roller skate we had at the shop and some old books with the flower arrangement. So anyway i think this room turned out really really great oh and i forgot the curtains we added some balances to the um, windows that didn't have any dressing on them and then in the kitchen we added these balances she hung this picture that was in her grandmother's house which is really cool and then she added this cabinet that she found at hobby lobby and it just all came together these curtains are a perfect match for all of her Cambridge glass collection. It's just beautiful. So we were pulling reds and I just happened to have some pretty red balances to match her pretty kitchen. <laughs> and then the balances go in here too, don't worry. Oh, I will put you on. <laughs> That's even a room. It's okay. And then so we added um, just a little pretty here and a little balance over the door. You guys know sometimes you'll run into a short balance in my stash and that's why. When you just need a little one, that's why we have a few little ones. So that's it. That's what I did on Friday and I'm back to do just a little bit more. We're wanting to make this fireplace. Let me flip you back around here. We're Sorry. We're wanting to make this 
fireplace dark instead of oak. So I was messing around with gel stain and I did it on the very bottom. See that, the very bottom is a little bit darker. It's only one coat. I just did it, just messing around. We did the corbel and the grooved, um, the fluted piece of wood, whatever you call that. And just to see what it would do, we're letting it dry. It seems to be getting darker as it dries, but she's going to take this over and do it herself. Um, but it's gel stain. So be interested, it's Minwax gel stain. Let me show you. Well, I didn't flip my thing around here for you guys to see, but that's what the can looks like anyway. Um, it's just called gel stain by Minwax and this color is called mahogany. So anyway, I forgot to make her her laundry room signs. She wanted some Chuck Couture laundry room signs. So I'm gonna get to work on that and um, see if I can make anything she might like. So that's all I have. You guys have a great day. Bye.